Lucinda. We'll continue solving IP past uh, paper questions. And today we're going to solve question on topic uh, three, paper two. Topic three, it's about uh, heat and uh, thermal physics. Now, before we solve the question, let's just revise the formula we've studied in topic three. <clears throat> now, in topic three, we studied number of moles N equals number of atoms divided by Avogadro's number and it's also equal mass divided by molar mass. Avogadro's number in A, it's 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 in mole. And Boltzmann constant, it's R, the universal gas constant, divided by Avogadro's number. All of these numbers in the data booklet, so no need to memorize them, but I prefer you to know them. So R equals 8.31 Joule. 8.31 Joule per mole Kelvin. And Boltzmann constant is 1.38 times 10 to the power negative 23 joule per Kelvin. Ideal gas law, P, V equals N, R, T. And P pressure times the volume equals number of uh, atoms times Boltzmann constant times the temperature in Kelvin. Kinetic energy for the ideal gas, the average kinetic energy is a 3 over 2. Number of atoms, Boltzmann constant times the temperature in Kelvin, which also equals 3 over 2 pressure times volume, 3 over 2 nR times T. One atom one atmospheric pressure will equal to 100 kilo pascal, which equal to one tor and one par. One pascal, one pascal, it's one in newton per meter square. Pressure, it's force divided by area to scalar quantity. Force is a vector quantity. And for RDL gas as well, P1, V1 divided by T1 temperature in Kelvin equals the second pressure times second volume or the, the, other, the volume after we change the temperature divided by T2. Okay, so let's go back to the equation, to question uh, one. You have the air in, uh, in a kitchen has pressure 1 times 10 to the power 5 uh, Pascal and temperature 22, 22 uh, degrees Celsius. Uh, refrigerator of internal volume 0. 0.36 meter cube is insulated in the kitchen. With the door open, the air in the refrigerator is initially at the same temperature and pressure as the air in the kitchen. Calculate the number of molecules of air in the refrigerator. So we have the pressure P. We have the temperature in Celsius. OK, which is 22 uh, degree Celsius. We have to uh, um, uh, convert it to Kelvin. So just we add 273 to convert it to Kelvin. Um, I have the volume V and I need to find the number of molecules N. So we're going to use this equation. P for ideal gas, V equals N, Boltzmann constant times the temperature. So N will equal PV 
divided by Boltzmann constant times the temperature. P, it's 1 times 10 to the power 5. Volume is 0.36 divided by Boltzmann constant is 1.38 and temperature is 22 plus 273 and this will give us 8.8 .8 times 10 to the power 24 atoms. B Determine the pressure of the air inside the refrigerator. Okay, I can use gay lozac equation because um, volume is constant. So we, if volume is constant, we can use this equation. P2 times P1 equals T2 divided by T1. All the temperature should be in Kelvin. So I have P1 already and I need to find P2. So P2 will be T2 times P1, just cross multiplication, divided by T1. T1 converted, uh, um, T1 we converted already is 200, uh, T, uh, T2 is 5 degree, so T2, 5. 5 plus 273 will give us 278 degree Kelvin. So 278 times 1 times 10 to the power 5 divided by 295. And this will give us 9.4 times 10 to the power 4 Pascal. This equation is the same as this one. P1, uh, one, this one, P1, V1, divided by T1 equals P2, V2, divided by T2, but the, the volume is constant. That's why I cancel the volume. Okay. The door of the refrigerator has an area of 0.72 millimeter meter square show that the minimum force needed to open the refrigerator door is about four kilo in newton now we have the pressure or the change in pressure will equal force over area so i need to find the four i need to find f so it will be change in pressure times the area so f will be delta p pressure times area Change in pressure, final minus initial. So I have 1 times 10 to the power 5 minus 9.4 times 10 to the power 4. This is the uh, final one. Equals times, times area. Area is point, point, 72 and um, this will give us 4.3 times 10 to the power 3 in newton that's it see you in the next video